What's up everyone? It's been way too long since I last made a video. Um, work's just been kicking my ass and the cold fall winter has definitely set in up here in the Pacific Northwest. So that on top of a bunch of other things that I'm not prepared to talk about yet or tell you guys about. Um, I haven't been doing too much car stuff in preparation for something that would be extremely cool and definitely a dream of mine. So hopefully that does happen so I can tell you guys what it is. A um, little ups and downs. Um, reason I'm making this video is not really a great one. Um, we're actually working on the G35. Um, on my way home from work last night, this thing went into limp mode. I have known that the knock sensor, put this up real quick, um, the knock sensor has been on its way out and I believe last night the um, knock sensor finally let go because she went into limp mode about three times and then like died right next to the house. So thankfully I have... I already have the knock sensor, just wasn't prepared to do it. Hopefully we can get this thing fixed before tomorrow because I do work tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I have, wherever they went, oh, I believe they're in the garage. Um, I do have the knock sensor. And because the knock sensors are in a stupid place, on infinities or on VQs in general. Um, we're also going to go ahead and do the valve cover gaskets and spark plugs. So, valve cover gaskets because the passenger side valve cover, whichever bank that would be considered, is uh, leaking a decent amount. That's kind of the only oil consumption issue. Or just oil issue this car has is that so yeah um, also another update the you guys probably noticed but parts car parts car finally got out of here I believe the beginning of this week Mikey went and took care of that got a tow truck out here to get it towed out um, and then my Cressida is no longer here with me at my house it is currently at my grandparents's in preparation for hopefully what's about to happen. Um, so that's kind of sucks not having it here, but I'm excited for what's coming. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down, get some stuff set up, get some tools, and start tearing this thing apart. I'm just gonna get it, start taking stuff apart. I am going to breakfast with a couple of the guys this morning and then one of them will probably be my ride for the day because as you guys know this is uh well definitely at the moment my only car especially in the cold because I don't want to drive the Cresta in this cold shitty weather but yeah I'm gonna get some tools get some stuff set up talk to you guys in a second got some tools um, also, this is something I'm always terrible about, but don't forget to disconnect your battery. Um, there are plenty of videos on how to change the knock sensor on one of these, but for those who don't know, it is underneath the intake plenum, so all of this I have to take off. Um, so, intake, throttle body, and start tearing down this massive intake plenum. Um, and yeah, so because I'm taking all of that off, we're also going to do the valve covers, change out those gaskets. Um, my buddy Sam, who I bought the car off of, did bring up a good point that I should have also ordered, along with doing the valve covers, was getting the um, like metal aftermarket ones that, as far as I'm aware, actually have better baffling than the factory ones, because I believe the factory ones are plastic, but we'll find out once I uh, pull them off. But yeah, I'm gonna get to work 
and uh, talk to you guys in a little bit. Focus. Come on. All right, so after all this fucking work to get the entire intake manifold and plenum off, there is our little knock sensor. Um, yeah, I went ahead and put some towels down in the intake ports. Don't want shit falling in there. Um, but intake valves look pretty good for actually the mileage of the engine, which reminds me, um, Eli told me to double check the VIN on the engine versus the car, just to see if this is the original engine, because according to the car, this is a 200 plus thousand mile um, VQ, which everything that I've kind of, aside from this knock sensor issue, um, it doesn't make any weird noises, there's no timing chain slap, nothing like that. Um, so, yeah, taking a little, little break after getting all that stuff off. Um, gonna go ahead and probably pop that new knock sensor in real quick. Figure out torque specs for a bunch of stuff and then probably start tackling the valve covers since we're here. Pretty easy. Gonna suck a little bit because of the wiring harness routing up and over the valve covers. So, gonna do those, get the coil packs out. I wish coil packs weren't stupid expensive so that I could just buy them off the shelf, but they are cheaper online, so we're gonna wait to do those. I need to order them, but yeah. So, spark plugs, valve cover gaskets, um, after I go to breakfast with Eli and everybody. Um, one of them's gonna take me to O'Reilly's to pick up the intake gaskets. These are, I mean, they're metal gaskets, so technically they are reusable, but I'm just going to replace them while we're here because I don't want any more little leaks. Also, a series of uh, bolts or fasteners um, weren't even tight on this thing, so that kind of scares me a little bit. Like, uh, two of the... To the bolts in the fuel rail were pretty loose. Same thing with the uh, plenum. There were a couple of them that weren't tight, but we'll do it. Uh, we'll do it right, my my first time taking this thing apart. Um, yeah, and then just like I assumed, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm going to. Uh, actually, I have that tiny filter. I'm curious if it'll fit on there. I want to plug the hose going into the intake. So, I might just put my, if I can find it, I bought this tiny little, uh, looks like an air filter um, for the Cressida, but it didn't really fit. And, well... Also what I want to do, since I won't be driving the Cressida for a while, is pull the catch can out of that, actually. And, uh, put it this. But, yeah. Either replace this hose that's being held together by duct tape, or just cap the port, or figure out something for that. And, uh... Yeah, so far this engine is looking pretty healthy. We'll, we'll see more once I uh, pull the valve covers off. But so far, it's, it's a healthy engine. It's looking good. My oil filler thing is stuck, so that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, what to do here? Um, I'm gonna get back to work, get the knock sensor pulled in, and then I guess start pulling valve covers off and doing all that, so I'll give you guys another update uh, once I've gotten a decent amount of work done. Update might not, what time is it? Oh, I don't have my watch on me. Um, probably not gonna give an update until after breakfast, so I'll talk to you guys then. Alright, what's up everyone? Uh, 
Got back from our little brunch thing a little bit ago. Um, started putting stuff back together. I really don't feel like changing out that valve cover gasket because this one sucked. And it, I should because that's the one that's leaking. But yeah, starting to put stuff back together. Um, kind of upset because I might have actually found, I guess, part of the issue. Um, yeah, for some reason, the... Um, at least driver's side, not, or, um, cam position sensor was not tight. The thing was like loose, flopping around. So just tighten that back up. And yeah, we're gonna continue throwing parts at this thing, I guess. Um, probably gonna do the spark plugs real quick, get those things gapped up to run in there, and get this thing put back together, fired back up, so that hopefully I can make it to work tomorrow. But. Yeah, I'm gonna get to work. There's your guys' quick little update. Um, also went and picked up brake clean, got the gasket set. Um, but yeah, picked up brake clean so I can clean a lot of a lot of this crap because it's pretty uh, pretty crusty and dusty in here. Um, can definitely tell that. Don't know what that was. I just fell, but can definitely tell that. Uh, it's a little bit of a mixed bag with this car. Part of it, yeah, it was taken care of pretty good. The inside of the engine definitely showed that. Um, I don't know if I filmed it, but when I had that one cover off, it looks perfect underneath the valve cover. So this thing was definitely taken care of. Um, and yeah, with that cam position sensor kind of hanging out like that, I'm gonna assume that they were changed. But yeah, um, I'm going to get back to work, get back to just throwing parts at this thing, changing stuff out. So give you guys an update. Um, probably when I'm done putting everything back together. But yeah. All right. And just like that, back together and running. Um, still does have a check engine light, so I might run it down to O'Reilly's for the code reader. Or uh, actually, I might call David and uh, see if he found his. Maybe take the car down to his house, um, get the codes checked, see what else. Um, yeah, let me uh, actually let's rev it and make sure that uh, nothing weird is going on. Well, it's no longer in limp mode, so yeah, there's uh, there's that. I'm going to clean up and uh, go get these codes checked out. All right, what's up, everyone? Uh, it's been a little bit since <clears throat> the last clip. Um, forgot to take the camera with me on my little drive out to David's because <clears throat> um, he ended up finding his OBD2 reader. So I went and got the codes read, um, cleared them. They did come back, well, the check engine light did pop back on, so I'm kind of assuming that's just a throttle relearn. Um, so yeah, I'll figure that at another time, but so far the car, the car runs great. Um, doing spark plugs and that sensor fixed the um, weird idle issue the car had, and it's, back to running fine so good ready to go for work tomorrow um i know i said in the last video which is going to probably be a following trend for a little bit depending on the news i find out hopefully this week that i will share with you guys if uh it does go the way that i want it to um but yeah i don't know when the next video is going to be um work's been kicking my ass and uh, we'll see. And then, especially with the holidays coming up, very busy. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Quick little update and working on the, uh, actually first video working on the G. So, yeah. Hope you guys liked it. I'll catch you guys at the next one, whenever it is. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, definitely do that. There'll be a link in the description to my Instagram if you want to follow along with, uh, I guess, more of what is going on in real time rather than how these videos are where they're 
a couple days a couple days in between or even um, a week behind but yeah so I'm gonna end it here I will talk to you guys in the next one